So let's compare the Intel Celeron N2807 with Celeron N2820. Two eight two Both of them are Intel's Betel processor, based rather Betel M processors, which uh, which are actually the successors to the Intel's Atom series of processors. So basically, the Atom series of processors are not as efficient as the Intel's Core i3 and so on processors for the given core clock frequencies. Now, comparing these two processors, the 2807 is clocked. Uh, much lower at 1.58 gigahertz versus 2.13 gigahertz of Celeron 2820 and same thing with the turbo clock this 2807 is clocked lower even the turbo clock frequencies and that's why we can see both of them since both of them are in the same series of processors we expect the 2820 to be faster than 2807 but not significantly you can say it's about 10 percent of performance difference which is not significant both of them are for entry level computing for example that you are doing the word processors internet surfing and so on and so forth they are good for mobility <coughs> the one thing that you want to take a look at is that that their tdp rating is much lower for Celeron and 2807 so it will be even thinner it will consume low power will have higher battery life and it will heat less so if you are looking for at the, um, the lower mobility and uh, lower battery life then Celeron 2807 could be a better choice other than that uh, Celeron 2820 is decent but again the, the performance of both these processors will be substantially lower than say Intel cool i3 or i5 processors so if you are doing anything more than just uh, surfing and uh, uh, word processing you may want to switch to cool i3 uh, it could be a little more than a hundred dollars or hundred or two hundred dollars more than the notebooks based upon the cell on processor but it may be worth it they will be faster to open and run the applications or programs. Thanks for taking a look.